This is FOCO, or Fake Homecoming. In the last weekend of every September, Western students flood Brockdale Avenue in the thousands. It starts in the early morning in student housing, and then it disperses out to the city at night. Last year, it was 11,000 people. This is HOCO, or Real Homecoming, that takes place in October. Now, if this photo was a video, it would still be just as quiet. So how can this be the fake homecoming if this is the real one? Well, FOCO only came about in 2016, and before that, Western just had homecoming. A homecoming is a chance for alumni to come home to their former school and celebrate their school spirit. Western has been having homecoming as early as the 1950s. Our homecoming is characterized by our big football game and all the programming that Western has built around it. It's just that for many people, the reputation for homecoming has become the reputation for HOCO. Less about the football game and its sanctioned programming, and more about the Brothdale party and its unsanctioned activities. Fast forward to 2015. At this point, Western's official HOCO programming takes place on the same weekend as the unofficial Brothdale party. That weekend, eight to 10,000 people swarmed Brockdale. Now this was the culmination of years of binge drinking and trashing the streets, and the school had reached a boil. They announced in that summer, which is now 2016, that the next year's HOCO would not take place in September, but in mid-October. It would be colder, and it would be at the height of midterm season. Now many people make these decisions, but one administrator became the face of this initiative, Amit Chakma, the university's president. In the press release, Chakma said he was speaking as Western's president and as a parent. Now, as we know, many people go to university to avoid parents. And as people predicted at the time, the partying did not stop. That September, on the original homecoming date, 10,000 students amassed on Brockdale for the newly dubbed FOCO, fake homecoming. This was despite mass emails sent by the administration to students and despite letters sent by the London police to residents of Brockdale warning them about the dangers of illegal street parties. At this point in time, it was clear that the homecoming legacy had been split in two. There was the new date with the sanctioned official football game and its programming, and the old date with the unsanctioned unofficial street gathering. The next year, in 2017, FOCO surged to 11,000 people, 10% higher than the year previous with a 1,000-person increase. And the event attracted more 911 calls than the year previous. In total, 37 people were sent to hospital, seven of them from traumatic injuries, another seven from drug overdoses, two from assaults, and three from people being hit by cars. Police issued eight arrests, 11 charges, 50 notices, and 969 warnings. Chakma was already the face of what students felt they were rebelling against, but after that year's festivities, he became more forceful than ever before, and he defended the date switch on the CBC. But uh, they will understand a bit better why they are with us. They're at Western not to party, they're at Western to study. And While the president believes that homecoming is not a student event, FOCO's popularity over the past years has made clear that students feel otherwise. Until this tension is resolved, FOCO and its relationship to the new date remains unclear.